All right, today we're gonna make some masks. So I'm gonna show you guys the basic steps in creating a simple mask with a nose. You will need a piece of paper, a pen or crayon or pencil, a little bit of glue, and a pair of scissors. All right, we're gonna start by taking our paper. This is just nine by 12 piece of construction paper. And we're gonna fold it in half. It doesn't have to be perfect in half. And then what we're going to do is we're gonna draw a fun shape of the mask. What you wanna make sure you're doing is that you are drawing from the folded edge a fun design using a line that will end at the folded edge. So how I like to do that so that I remember to draw and cut on the right place is to put some dots. I am going to put a dot oh, about right here. I like to put one in the just below the middle part on the folded edge because this part here I'm going to cut out for my nose. And it's going to create a line kind of curved like that. So then I like to put another dot right here. So do that on your paper, on the folded edge, open it up like a hot dog or a taco. Make sure you're putting your dots on the folded edge, one about an inch down from the top, another one a little bit lower than halfway on the folded edge, and then another one about two inches in along the bottom from the folded edge. All right, once you have your dots, now you're going to draw some lines that will create the outside shape for your mask, kind of like this. So you're going to be drawing some fun shapes here that then we will cut out. So when you open it up, you're going to have a mask with a fun edge. What I like to encourage students to do is not draw lines that are going to be really hard to cut out. We don't want to spend 20 minutes cutting. So if you have lots of small lines, it's going to be hard. Then from the middle line down to the bottom, we're just going to kind of make an arc or a curved line. Okay, now that you've drawn your shape, we're going to take our scissors and we're going to cut out only the line that we drew. What would happen if I cut here? Right, I would have two pieces and I would not have a mask. So I like to just keep my finger on that folded edge to remind me not to cut that shape out. Now another thing we're going to do, you are going to keep this piece that we cut for the nose. So don't throw that piece away. You put it up to the side that piece is going to be important. So, cut your mask out. The scraps from the edge can be used to embellish your mask, like give it eyes, or a mustache, or just dots. Make sure that as you cut, you're cutting both pieces of paper. Do not unfold the mask. Make sure you're cutting both pieces of paper, not just the top one. All right, I've got my mask shape cut out. My scrap paper I will put to the side. Now I can open my mask. I don't even need to worry about that line of the green marker. You won't see it. It's going to be on the back of the mask. So there is the shape for my mask. Eyes would go somewhere around here. So now this is going to become the nose piece. That's why we need this shape here. It's gonna fit nicely in there for our nose. What I like to do is trade a nose piece with my neighbor so that I can get a different color nose on there. I think that's kind of fun to do. So what I'm going to do instead, since I don't have a neighbor, is I'm very quickly going to cut with this black paper a nose shape. So you do that by folding the paper in half and just cutting 
a little curved nose. All right. So I'm going to trade this with a neighbor. Thank you, neighbor, for the different colored one. The folded edge of that nose piece will become the top of the nose. Now, artists, how are we going to get this line of paper to glue down here? What are some attachment ideas? I know I've taught you. We're going to make some tabs. So how you do that is you cut a little line along the folded piece on the top, on the wider end, not the pointed end, the wider end, cut a line along the folded edge, and then you've got tabs. So now you're gonna fold those tabs in, fold them inside. That way when you glue it down to your mask, you won't see the tabs. So see how I folded them down? Now I can fold it together at about a 45 degree angle, I'm sorry, a 90 degree angle, and I will glue that onto my mask. So now is where we use the glue. Make sure that you close the glue when you're done using it. Dot, dot, not a lot. We don't need to have too much glue spilling out on our mask. Let's see if I can even get this glue to come out. Dot, dot, not a lot. I like to put a little bit on the inside to hold it together. Pinch it that 45 degree angle, I mean 90 degree angle. And then we're going to just put it right on top of our mask, right above the arch that we cut. So we glue it down just like that. And then you have your mask. Now what we can do is embellish our mask. For this one, we're not going to cut eyes out. It's much easier to cut the eyes out before you glue the nose down. I will teach you guys another day how to do the eyes cut out. Okay, now you can take scrap papers, different colored scrap papers, and you can embellish your mask. So, Go to the scrap bin or the painted paper bin, and you can use all kinds of papers. Think about ways to use your scrap paper, too. I like to curl my paper around my finger to have some three-dimensional elements also on my mask. So I have things hanging off. Maybe I want to put horns on this guy or add other embellishments like that. All right, have fun artists designing your mask.